Hello, it's me, Diego. I have an idea today. The idea is to, um, make basically kind of a slingshot crossbow. But, um, I was blowing up a latex glove today, and it popped. Here's what was left. Just a stretchy rubber band light. There's already a string tied to the end of it. But, I was thinking about throwing it in the trash. Then I thought, well, you know, it's got the same consistency as a rubber band. So why throw it away when you could use it? I've done this before on a slingshot, as you can see. Basically, I went to a New Year's Eve party. I brought them those. There's one rubber band and there's one balloon. Balloon. So... I broke that other rubber band, so I decided, well, there was a, there was a balloon laying around, so it was popping everything. That gave me the idea. Well, I might as well just tie it on there, and it works surprisingly well. I'm not gonna shoot anything with it just cause, but yeah, it works with what I shoot. Just gonna lay that down. Get back to the real part. So I thought, try to make something out of this, why not? And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back with a better plan. Okay, I'm back. So I've actually gotten a plan. So I was digging around looking for things to use for this project. And I wanted to stick with the theme of, you know, things you could find if you needed to make one. So I found this really big cardboard box that nobody really uses. I just have it in my room for kind of a table down here in this little corner between a shelf and where I'm recording from. But I have an idea and it involves cutting this and basically making it into a platform for something like a cross crossbow. So I'll get back to you on that. Back to you guys. So been thinking it's been about five ten minutes I cut off the tops of the box basically my plan is is to take these so the little pieces I'm chopping down right now little piece and little piece big piece big piece so here's my idea put it face up take a little piece stick it right there take the little this other piece, face down on this, and then take the last piece and sandwich them, basically. So I'll get back to you when I'm pretty much done. I may change it up a little bit, who knows. So I'm back for now. So here's the new plan. Er, not really new, but I've done it. I've sandwiches, sandwiches. The two pieces. Okay, and I've cut a hole for the trigger already. Basically, the plan is that the trigger is going to go here. It's not a very good trigger, but once again, you know, you're in the zombie apocalypse. When the elastic bands are up here, or they're going to be, they're going to be tied there and there. Then they're going to stretch back, attach to the back of this, and it's going to be held like this. Then when you do that, it'll slip off and shoot in theory so I'll get back to you once I've done that okay back I pretty much installed the trigger maybe a little bit more to be done with that trigger but I have another for a grip but this grip is going to be put pretty much around here in this position it's basically just a pencil that was broken in half sadly donate to the pencil charity so let's just stab a little hole, not too deep, because you definitely don't want the elastic band going forward and then slamming on that, not shooting your projectile. Just around there. So I'll get back to you when that's done. Just so you know, just the reason I'm skipping half of the building, if you want a way to build it, I'll show you how, but I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Be back. So I'm back. So this is pretty much the rawness 
Are you going to get it? The next part that I got to do is string it. But as you can see, trigger's put in position and the grip there. So basically, what I have an idea for is that I'm just going to tie the strings on this elastic glove. One over here, one over there, cut the glove in half, and then stretch it back. And the pouch is going to be mounted on the tape, probably. I'm just going to attach it to the back of that. Whenever you pull the trigger, you basically pull it back. It'll hopefully slip off and then shoot the projectile. This is probably going to be the longest time. I may check in a couple times.